Let's take a look at how we can use PowerPoint to create infographics. Now, infographics are really useful tools. Humans are innate communicators, and the visual element to communication is very important, and it's even primal. When you look at the earliest forms of communication that we have on record, we see cave paintings, hieroglyphics. Even before we had written alphabets, we were using imagery to communicate with each other including passing on our genealogy and tribal or family history, noting our accomplishments and our setbacks, and keeping a record of our activities. Today we can incorporate visual elements into our communication through infographics, which are primarily visual presentations with supplemental narration. PowerPoint is a great way to do this. So let's dive in. Here I have a blank PowerPoint slide, which you're very familiar with. The dimensions of this slide are a width of 13.33 inches by 7.5 inches tall. These are pretty standard dimensions. They conform to the width and height of our monitors and our projectors, so we're used to presenting in this format. The 16.9 ratio is very common, but what a lot of people don't know is that we can actually change the dimensions of our PowerPoint slides. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna hop up to the design ribbon and I'm gonna to go to the slide size. Now by default, four by three and 16 by nine are the most common dimensions, but I can create a custom slide size as well. And I can choose whatever width and height I feel like. Now infographics traditionally are more vertical, but they don't have to. You can make a wide infographic if you like, or even a square infographic. In this case, I'm gonna go with 26.666. I'm gonna make it twice as tall as it is wide. It's gonna ask me, do I wanna maximize or ensure my fit? In this case, I'm starting from scratch, and so it doesn't really matter to me. If you already have elements on the screen, then you wanna be mindful of this. So I'm gonna click maximize. Now when I zoom out, I have a blank infographic. I can start by scratch, adding text boxes for my title. And then I can decorate the canvas by adding a myriad of shapes and texts if I want. I can even use some of those handy merging shapes options if I want to create some interesting elements. Now I've given other webinars that talk more specifically about the fundamentals of infographics, the components, the elements, and how to create an infographic. In this case, I'm just showing you the platform that you can use to do that. Of course, you'll want some supplemental narrative here and there, but primarily infographics are a very visual medium. Now, if I have my infographic as I want it, I can go up to File, I'm gonna save a copy or save as, and instead of saving this as a PowerPoint presentation, you have various options. You can save this as a JPEG or as a PNG or as a TIFF or even as a PDF. Now I'm going to hop over to another project. This is an example of an infographic that I built out here in PowerPoint. As I zoom out, you can see the infographic in its entirety. I kept this one fairly simple. You can see some of the elements include text boxes. I actually have a transparent box to cover over the icon that I have, the graphic of the house, and that way it gives a little bit of contrast between the house and the text box. Otherwise it gets a little, it bleeds into it and I don't want the house to be the primary element. But as I click this and tear it apart, you can see the various elements, including a text box, and I have a white box behind the text box, and then I have another box that's outlined to frame the text. And so you can be creative and use the elements built right into PowerPoint to create a pretty sophisticated presentation. And once you have everything how you want it, you can click save. I'm going to save this as a PDF, and here you can see my output. If I zoom out a little bit, you can see me scroll through. And again, this can be a PDF, it can also be a PNG, a JPEG, it's something that you can email, you can upload it onto image sharing platforms such as imager.com, or embed it right into an Outlook or Google message, or you can put it on a blog, a website, or an online course. So this is one way that you can create an interesting infographic using PowerPoint.